tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you want to come to me? And Jesus said, let it be so. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. If Jesus felt it was proper to do to fulfill all righteousness, then we too shall do this to fulfill all righteousness, to be baptized. The word, <clears throat> so Kayleen and Tammy, these are statements and questions to you to declare your faith before I give you a chance to say something personal. Scripture says, the word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming. That if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. And so, Kayleen and Tammy, do you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he died upon the cross for your sins, and that he rose from the dead on the third day? If so, would you please say loud enough so we all can hear, I do. I do. Will you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord? You can say, Jesus Christ is my Savior. Jesus Christ is my Savior and Lord. Do you now desire of your own free will to be baptized into the faith and family of Christ? going to let each one of you say a few things. Kayleen, would you like to go first? Sure. Um, the main reason I'm getting baptized is because I recently moved out of my own and I want to start off a new journey um, and bringing God into it and starting my own journey in the church. as eloquent as that, I actually have to put my words down on paper. <laughs> so first of all, I'm overjoyed by all of you being here um, who care about my Christian journey, and I want to thank you for being part of it. This journey was a slow one for me for most of my life. Being baptized as an infant, my mom encouraged attending Sunday school, church services, especially Easter and Christmas Eve services which as a youngster were all instrumental to my faith. Prayers at meals and bedtimes were heartfelt. Then I met a very dear woman who became a close friend and spiritual mentor, Irma Stevens. After nearly 27 years together, endless Bible readings and Christ-filled discussions, she went home to Jesus, her Lord and Savior, at 96 years of age. Irma emulated the life of Christ on a daily basis with a peace-filled heart, humble being, and in constant prayer. It was through this friendship I learned and am still learning to depend upon Christ, always and in, in always. The past few years have been exceptionally challenging for me, beyond even my wild imagination. All the while, God has reminded me how much he cared for and loved me, through friends, unexplained circumstances, and even strangers witnessing to me. So today I've chosen to be baptized by immersion as Christ himself did. Actually, he chose me to do this, and I obeyed. I'm doing this as a way of thanking him and formally dedicating my life to him. It is through Christ's almighty promises and my total trust in him that I believe he will continue to carry out his wishes for my life to honor and to serve him. Thank you again for witnessing this humbling event for me.
And I see some of you have them. I don't know if you know there's a photo and a poem that Tammy and, and Joe had written, and her friend Joe, and uh, circulating around. I think there might be some more cards if you'd like one. Here we go. <laughs> he said Indian style. Guess what that does? I just don't want to. <laughs> okay. Tammy Fleming Mouse, having heard your profession of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ and your desire to follow him and to be baptized on this day, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of Jesus Christ the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I welcome you into the family of Christ of all those who have professed his name across all time and all generations. Who's her towel bearer? I am. Get moving, Joe. Tammy, let me give you a hug. This drives me. Oh, Let's say a prayer together for our, those, for Kayleen and Tammy who are just baptized and for all of us. Almighty God in heaven, we thank you so much for the gift of Christ. We thank you so much for your awesome salvation. Thank you that it reaches to every time and every generation. And thank you here on this day, we've been able to witness these two sisters in Christ profess their faith in you and be baptized as a public witness of that faith. Bless them, Lord. Sanctify them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them and help them to be the women that you've created them to be. Bless them along their journey ahead. May it be full of grace and wisdom, joy and truth. Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Our closing hymn, which we will sing a cappella, is on the back. And then there'll be cake. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's cake. Yes, and it's free. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my life, my strength, my song. 
this cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease, I come. inside stay as long as you'd like god bless you all <laughs> i know some of you are thinking it no you may not jump in the hot tub thank you okay. <laughs> once we scream past them with cake they'll, they'll get the message I already took a picture. I took pictures of them separately, so I guess we don't have to take a picture of them with the cake. There we go.